uh, it's generally up eh. and since it's generally up it's at the close of the year you will have people also that somehow hmm okay I've made money this year might as well take profits might as well do this might as well protect myself from further downside it's not that it's wrong for it to go down it's just that also under the context that from the drops that we had in 2020 from where we were in 2021 uh, people are in a position to take profits Hey guys, so over the past few days, we've seen the market slump a bit. We've seen US stocks last Friday get a bit of a hit of negative sentiment. And while that was going on also, we've also had the cryptocurrency market tumble a bit. Not just Bitcoin, but a lot of the major altcoins and even to the smaller altcoins, we've seen large amounts of movement down over the past few days. Because as you all know, the stock market is open from Monday to Friday. The only region in the world that's open earlier than most markets is in the Middle East and if there's some type of indicator that you would want to uh, somehow get no, as a reference point on how sentiment will be is even stock markets in the Middle East were relatively down as well. All of that is pretty much triggered by the new variant that's making waves in Africa, the Omicron variant. Please do note that whatever we have been seeing over the past few months or even the past two years, whatever downward move, the predicament we are in is pretty much because of the virus, the pandemic, and the lockdowns. And last year was a template, no? And the reason why I'm filming out because we're currently having dinner. I'm just um, waiting for the food to be served as well. But I just wanted to film already so that I could give value to all of you while I'm actually doing this. But people are out and about right now. And I think this was similar to what was happening last year, no? That at the tail end of the year, people were excited, people were going out, it was actually Christmas, that the vaccine was already available, that created some sort of a boost of confidence for a lot of people to go back to the real world, to go back to normal. And I want to show you this, guys. Even as you can see right here, people are out um, dining as well. It wasn't as busy, but it's just nice to see that people are out. Similar to what happened last year, uh, the Delta variant started to creep in and we started to see a lot of infections at the start of the year this year. If you go back to all of my other videos, I would always talk about uncertainty is what scares the market. And this new variant, we don't know how massive this is, how this will affect a lot of people moving forward, or if this is something that's more contagious or the effects of this is highly stronger uh, versus the current variants that we have. A lot of people who are investing is that when there's a lot of unknowns, they try as much as possible to stay in cash. They try as much as possible to stay liquid. And if you notice it also, even not it's not just for the Philippine markets or the US markets or the cryptocurrency market, uh, it's generally up. Eh? And since it's generally up, it's at the close of the year, you will have people also that somehow, hmm, okay, I've made money this year, might as well take profits, might as well do this, might as well protect myself from further downside. It's not that it's wrong for it to go down, it's just that also under the context that from the drops that we had in 2020, from where we were in 2021, uh, people are in a position to take profits. Institutions are in a position to take profits. The US market has generally moved up. The Philippine markets has generally moved up. The cryptocurrency market has generally moved up. Majority of the people who are investing are just like you and me. They're there to get growth. And if the growth is there and there's risk on the table, the most likely scenario is some of them will want to take out their gains and also take some of those risks off as well. When your take profit signals get hit, when your signals to sell have been hit, then by all means, it's okay for you to also take profits as well. In the same way, if you want to somehow no, protect yourself should there be any downside and your signals also for getting out of the position should have been hit, it's okay as well. And I want to say this also to people who are maybe stacking Bitcoin, who are looking at Bitcoin, watching Bitcoin, thinking about what their goal and style will be for Bitcoin. I think this is one of the significant things that are so relevant for Bitcoin. When you're looking at analyzing stocks, regardless if it's Philippine stocks or the US stock market, you always have to realize that when we lock down, companies that are highly connected to travel, tourism, mass gatherings, should we lock down again? And there are things that may get affected from all of this then their businesses will also get hit. They won't earn as much. They won't be as good. And those stay-at-home stocks will again somehow no, be more relevant once again.
but one of the reasons why I like Bitcoin is that there will be volatility, the price will go down, it's normal for it to have downward pressure, but unlike stocks in the Philippine markets, unlike stocks in the US markets, there's no earnings to look at na it could possibly go down. That's not part of the equation. Eh? Because Bitcoin is game-changing technology and the technology of Bitcoin does not change if there's a new variant, a new strain that's actually around. So there, I just wanted, I just wanted to let you know what's happening, that whatever movement we're seeing right now is just mainly triggered by the virus, fears about it, the current unknowns that are attached with it and above and beyond that people wanting to take profits people who want to somehow protect themselves should this spiral into something bigger but ultimately what i want to submit to all of you is you follow your plan if you're in it for the technology follow the technology if you're in it to trade using the charts follow your take profit signals if you're in the stock market for investing and nothing has fundamentally changed in the companies that you like especially those tech related ones any drop should be areas for you to be able to stack and add some more in the same way for philippine stocks that drops and are very very consistent in giving out their dividends and you still really really like them then it could be a position for you to get higher dividend yields later on if you get to buy them at a very very cheaper price as well so please do remember this every time you are away from anything that's fixed from back products or time deposits or anything else in between you must be prepared that every time that there's uncertainty people would want to sell and people would want to also protect their positions so there i hope that this is something that gave you a bit of insight on what's going on but I'll, i'm here to tell you this that please don't allow drops to cause you to panic please don't allow drops to cause you to become emotional because every time you are emotional that's when mistakes are made. Eh? Every time you become emotional, that's when also you get to make decisions that you might regret later on. So I'll say this, I don't know how the markets will be over the next few days because no one has a crystal ball. But ultimately speaking, there's still a lot of unknowns yet. It's still too early to tell. But looking at how markets are reacting, it's somehow no, from a perspective of a bearish undertone, people are trying to take profits, people are trying to stay to the sidelines, people are trying to see how will this actually play out and at the end of the day as what i said earlier people are in it to earn and if they've earned already and then there's unknown it's okay for them also to take money off the table so what i'll do over the next few days maybe because there's a lot of there might be a lot of volatility that could possibly happen uh please put the cryptos that you want me to analyze from a technical analysis perspective Please also, if you have any Philippine or US stocks that you want me to talk about, put it in the comment section below and I'll try to make them for you. And I guess that's it for now. My wife, I, I, saw, I saw the notification already. My wife's calling me. We're about to eat dinner. So that's it for now, guys. This is Marvin Germo. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon and God bless you all.